Hello everybody, in today's video we're going to be taking a look at this unusual looking black puzzle. This is called a Morphag. This is sort of like the one Tony Fisher made out of a skew. This is also made out of a skew, but this one has completely different cuts. Uh, on this one, unlike Tony Fisher's, you can actually turn it in half like this and not change the shape. So you can see we've got this triangle piece here and then you can turn it and there's another triangle piece and you can turn it and there's another triangle piece and all of these pieces here are the same as well and if you turn it over it's the same thing. This piece here is the same as this one, this one, this one and then these three as well. Um, so this is based off of the skew and uh, I got this from Zonaden Puzzles or Zonden Puzzles, I don't know how they pronounce their name. Same people who gave me the Crystal Ghost Cube if you remember that, the very first one. Um, so anyways, I got this and I got another puzzle as well, but unfortunately uh, I'm a bit dissatisfied with the product because this piece here has fallen out and it's broken and you can kind of see if I can zoom up here um, That it's just the skew on the inside and then this here Just kind of fits inside. I mean, I'm gonna glue it back on but it's something that I have to mention. So this thing shape shifts, you can turn it like like this and then you can continue to shape shift it. Now I'm holding this piece on. Um, and this puzzle is actually really easy to solve because it's got so many of the same pieces unlike Tony Fisher's. Uh, did I screw this up now? Here we go. <laughs> oh yeah, see. Anyways, I'm scrambling it up now I guess without that one piece. Um, but yeah, I haven't heard Tony Fisher make any claims about knockoff, and I've heard him say in the past that if something has different cuts, he's okay with it, so uh, I assume that he's fine with this one. Anyway, so that's sort of it scrambled. It's kind of hard to see with the uh, black, you know, with no stickers on it or whatever. And the other one was a, a giant ball, and the ball was a cool shape-shifting one too. But unfortunately, this is how I got it. It's got these massive pieces. You can see the skew is just kind of glued on right there. Um, yeah, it's got the number 8 on it for some reason. Can you guys see that at all? In the light there, number 8. Um... And it came in a, a bunch of pieces. This says 10 on it, 9. I guess that's they mark them so they know how to put them together. Uh, but yeah, look at the core, right? The core is completely smashed apart. This thing came in pieces, and this one here is broken as well. So I'm not very happy with the product, obviously. And then I look on their website, and all I see are nicer looking colored versions of this. Um, I don't see any markings on it, like the number or whatever. So it seems to me that I was sent a, a really poorly made prototype to somehow promote this product to all of the cubing community uh, in a hopes to get some sales. Um, unfortunately, if it comes broken and I'm not getting what you guys would get, you know, I don't want to recommend it. So I'm actually not recommending that you guys buy this because based on what I got, uh, it is definitely not worth the money, especially for being such an expensive puzzle. And I'm willing to bet that these were, uh, these were, I think that they were uh, 3D printed and then cast and remolded because you can kind of see the uh, the lines. And on top you can kind of see these little swirl marks, but I think they've been sanded down off the 3D printing before it was cast. But anyways, um, it's a very heavy pieces, like this here weighs already more than your standard 3x3, never mind like even this one's bigger, this one definitely weighs more than a 3x3. Um, but when I told him, hey, it came in pieces, he says, oh, okay, well, go buy a new skew and then you can start gluing you know these pieces back on to the skew but it's like this is broken here you know this is not a piece I could take off this one of course you know I could just put back on uh, the skew but this one here it's completely broken off you know so I would have to actually physically take this off of the extension and then re-glue it and it's not a problem to do that but like usually if I get a puzzle 
from a company and it arrives broken, they just send me a new one. They don't say, oh, well, go out and spend money on it so you can advertise our product and you can do all the work to fix it so we can reap all the benefits of it. Uh, it kind of bothers me that they said that. So, <laughs> anyways, I promised them a review if they sent it to me and they sent it to me and this is my review. It is a piece of garbage. Don't buy this stuff. Um, and, and that's really all I have to say about it. So hopefully this video entertained you in some way or another because it was part of the deal I do it. And uh, unfortunately for them, um, they need to either send me better stuff or working things or, or replace it. You know what I mean? Like send me what you would buy not some crappy broken prototype with ink all over it i mean come on guys <laughs> all right guys uh sorry i haven't made a video in so long uh it's been a month which is a record for the longest i've ever gone without making a video i was having camera problems uh, i hurt my hand at work for the first while as well now everything is back together so let's go ahead and start making lots of videos i have a ton of stuff i've got like this I've got all five of these. I've got a whole box full of stuff. I have another box full of stuff here. I've got so much stuff coming that's here already, sorry, that uh, I'm way behind. I'm way behind. So I apologize to all these people who gave me stuff that I haven't reviewed yet. It's been like a month. Um, and the cubicle has still sent me even more stuff. So i got to get going on this, guys. And uh, another, another thing I want to say as well is... Um, I'm going to revamp my channel and, and, and make a schedule, like a video once a week on Saturday mornings at 8 o'clock or something like that. Uh, because my job, my new job is very taxing and, uh, and I need to have a schedule. And that way you guys will also know exactly when my videos are coming out. So it would probably be Saturdays. I'm not going to say the schedule yet because I want to get it all organized first. But I'm thinking once a week or more. So anyways, guys... <laughs> I'll leave a link to this uh, st this this crap um, in the description, and you guys can uh, probably not click it and don't buy it. So, <laughs> thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you on my next video.